afternoon, like, oh, someone wants like a consultation call with me, right? And like they scheduled it. And I was like, okay. And let me go to the leads page through that email. And I saw like 14 leads. I was like, what the hell? So I had my assistant call them all and, you know, no one responded, but still um, good, good results. Um, you know, good results on that one. Dude, that's a freaking, dude, why didn't you, oh my gosh, dude, that freaking has me jumping for joy over here, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. That's, let's take a look at it. Can you share, can you share a screen real quick? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So, and I'm going to show you like what I'm planning on today. I, I have the post kind of ready. Uh, I was going to post that like sneak peek tour uh -huh. um, and then we can just make ads for it on Instagram and Facebook. Heck yeah, bro. Give me, give me one second. Okay. I, I got to give my daughter to my wife real quick. Hold on one second. Go for it. Okay. I'm back. Sorry, bro. No worries. Dude, oh. that's freaking awesome, bro. And, and, and what, like it has, has it been a week or has it not been a week? Um, I don't think so here. Let me drag this over here. Uh, yeah, it hasn't been a week. Um, I guess I have 15 now, but yeah, I also, um, I have this thing. So here's like my little flyer, right? Um, but I have this thing I want to, I sent out like the email yesterday. I think you got it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got okay. it. You're my little CRM here. Uh, let's see. Gosh, how do I? Hold on, marketing. And I was, I, because I, ever since we ran the ad, I'm like, you know, because I, I obviously, you know, freaking, just like you. I mean, you're running your business, right? And you got, you got shit on your mind, and you're thinking of clients, and that's how I think of you. And so when we ran it, ran it, I'm like, I'm thinking of you like every damn day, and I'm like, okay, so if I don't hear from him, no, no news is good news. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, maybe the ad is working because I haven't heard from him. And so I'm glad that it, that it has been now, now it just comes down to obviously continuing the process and, 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 and making sure that those, that, that we're nurturing the list. So as these 15 leads or whatever it was, as they come in, they need to keep hearing from us. And that's when we set up an email automation where you don't want to have to physically email these people, maybe set up 10 emails or maybe five emails in the sequence and and have those going out gotcha i have to do here hold on um i'm logging into chrome so i have to open a whole new chrome to yeah this. yeah it's all good um, all right right there cartra new calendar booking wow dude right here she, she left the phone number in the in the cartra um, but like, so I went in, right. Or full profile. Let's see what, Oh, happened. you know what we got to do? We huh. yeah, lo log in. What we have to do is we have to add the phone number filled to the form for the calendar. Uh, okay. That's what we got to do. So yeah, let's, I don't want to get too ahead. I know, I, I know you got other things you want to go over as well, but th remember that we got to, we got to, we got to update that form got it. because now as they, now as they enter your world, they came in through a landing page and then now they're scheduling an appointment. So at that point, they already feel comfortable to a certain extent. Now it's on that form for the calendar booking that we asked for their phone number. So right here, this is the lead. Holy shit, bro. No That's one crazy. responded, but still, I mean, they're clicking. Some people like there, there's a nilly. Um, dude. Dude, I'm telling you that, that that's going to be normal. And then, and then we'll have a percentage. Let's just say 1%, 1% actually ends up responding. Well, so what's funny is when I click that email, if you clicked on the 3D tour, it takes you to that landing page that we made in Kartra. So these people are like realtors. See, Joy Chabot Realtor, like these guys are like came from that. So I just drove them here. But on here, you can see I have 15, right? Okay. So ad, but I have so, 21, so as we run the 24. next ad, we exclude realtors. No, no, no. So what I'm saying is, so when I... Like I drove them here. So that email I sent out to everyone, I sent it to 1200 realtors. Gotcha. Like, gotcha. If you gotcha, got a deal gotcha. in Concord, you got it. So, um, yeah. So like they, then they clicked on the picture and it took them to the same place. So it wasn't driven by the ad. You see 15 gotcha. versus uh, 24 leads. Nine people came from that little flyer. Okay. So then we got to make sure that we set up, set up a separate, set up a separate list for that. That way you can segment these people. Got it. Okay. Right, because we don't want we don't want them on the same list as as these leads that are coming in. For example, 
So my question is, before we do this, should I put the ad on, on my business page right now? Um, oh yeah, for sure. But then also the way you were looking at it with the Kartra is you were looking at it from lead view. If you mm -hmm. went into list view, so now we're list. So now the, the 24, actually you st yeah, we got to separate that. So the 24 people that are on this list, if, if they happen to come from a, from an email that you sent out, they need to go to a different list. Okay. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll deal with that part. We'll, we'll deal with that part because I want to look at that list of 24 and be like, okay, every single one of those came from an ad. Got it. You know what I mean? Here's what I'm, uh, so maybe you can help me like post this better. So you, you've seen this already. Um, let's go. So I'm going to, I, I emailed it myself so I can post on Instagram for my phone, but I just want this thing. And then I was thinking for value ad is like, Hey, here's a little sneak peek of the tour. If you want the full tour, click here. Heck yeah, dude. Heck and yeah. I can take it to another page to like capture info or, mm -hmm. or should I just give it out for free? Like anyone can look at the tour. Um, I would, I would do the first way you said a little sneak peek. And if you want the full tour, click learn more. Okay. So, uh, and then for the, let's see. Does your volume go up a little bit? Let's see. Can you turn up your volume? I'm maxed out. I just put it closer. That's, that's perfect. That's fine. Perfect. All right. I'm going to buy one of those mics like you have uh, sitting here. I have another $1,000 from Compass to spend. I bought Rebecca $3,500 new MacBook. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah. All right. I'm thinking like, like how much of this to copy into the post. Shit, the whole damn thing. Well, I mean, why not? I mean, I, I mean... Because, because to tell you the truth, all of the specs can go in the text of the ad, which is all of that. And what they're really clicking on, the, the, what we really kind of want to bribe them with or, or, or entice them with, for example, and, and get them to click, learn more, and opt in is for the photos. Mm -hmm. So maybe put a, yeah, so you have the video. So we're giving them a sneak peek. That's what they're really learning, click and learn more for, is to find out more about that virtual tour or for more photos. That's one way, I mean, you can easily do it. I mean- um, man, is this going to carry over? MP4 file. Okay. Now we're moving. And then also I had, I don't think you've seen it, but, but there was a comment that came in because the video that I released today that went live on my YouTube channel was our last call. And, um, one of my friends, one of my friends that, you know, follow me on my YouTube channel she commented and said there's software that allows you to edit the video into an Instagram ratio dimension or whatever. Oh, so you can record the video once and then, and then format it, crop it through this software that she's talking about, which I don't know what it is, but I'll, I'll ask her and it'll just, it'll crop it to an Instagram size. No, so I just do a horizontal one for Facebook and crop. It. Yeah, exactly, dude. Um, So this, is, so this is my post, right? What I put before doesn't even count, right? This is it. What you put before, what do you mean before? Oh, all right, let me. So right here, like I'm, I'm coming in here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did this. So like I click that, the moment I put a video in, it takes me to that new page. Yeah, that's so fine. That Perfect. doesn't count, right? The, what I did before. I don't know why it's not there, but, but this is where you want to do it for sure. Do it right, right. there. How do you add like emojis, like a fire little thing or something? Yeah, go to um, go to uh, www.emojicopy.com. Emoji, e m o e m o j i, and then c o p y. Got it. Okay. What like just listed? Or like. Man, like new on market or? Yeah, yeah. Um, just listed, um, new on market, property won't last or something like that. Create some type of urgency. Just hit the market. Um, see, this is all ad copy. I got to get better at ad copy is writing out this stuff um, for, you know, for attention, for. 
The title is going to go up top, right? So, okay. Let me. All right. I have this. Oh, there is where I'm going on. Copy. There's my emoji. Damn. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set this one up and then we're going to also create a custom audience and retarget all the ones who watched the first one. Okay. Uh, I got to tell you, there's some fucking haters out there. <laughs> oh, bro. Th that, that's what trips me out because it's like, dang, dude, it's like, what is there really to hate on? Like a person right. has to be a freaking like loser to really – like, especially in this case, comment on a real estate ad. Like, what do you, what are you hating on, bro? Like, what the heck? Like, are they other realtors or just random people? Um, no, most of the people be like, oh my God, California is so expensive. Go to Texas. Like, bitch, like you live in Concord. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, yeah. I'm like, I'm like I can't say anything. I just like, and some people like put negative shit. Like, you, you know, what's so crazy? Comments. Yeah. <laughs> here's how I want, no, dude, here's how I want you to look at it from this point on, bro especially on an ad, especially on an ad, engage with the damn comment. Like, because all that does is it pushes your ad even further. Right. So any stupid bullshit comment, reply. And reply with a great attitude. And, and, and leave all the negative ones. I would leave all of them, bro. Unless someone's completely talking shit about you personally, then okay, maybe that's different. But if they're just saying something stupid and random, oh, freaking it's better in Florida, Okay, cool, bro. Yeah, I, I agree, whatever. And, and just comment. Just comment. Because sometimes I get that on my YouTube videos and the engagement is what pushes the algorithm to push that video even further. Whether it's a positive comment or a negative comment, it doesn't matter. That's why I encourage people to comment on my videos. You're just helping my, vi you're helping my views go up. Got it. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't delete anything. Oh, okay. So not even the bad guys, just deleted like the negative people who are like, no. You know, no, unless they're talking shit about you personally. No, bro. No. It was like like your assistant spammed me with like a Atlanta area code. I was like, I have like an ISA out of there, so I'm like, oh, okay. So and just reply back. So that's kind of weird. I didn't I didn't have them do anything. Like <laughs> maybe play dumb with it if anything. But the fact that you reply is all that matters, dude. I'm telling you, negative, positive, it does not matter. Leave it all. Let's see. Should it only I, helps you. Should I add more text? No, dude, that's freaking perfect. But but also let's say, let's see let's let's create a little bit of urgency. Let's see if we can write maybe, um, like maybe did you did you type in click learn more? Uh, not yet. I'm just yeah. Uh, let's let's do I'm that next. Push, I'll bring any of this. Man, I already put it all in the post, though. It's all good, dude. That's enough. That's enough. And then, and if you want access to the full three interactive tour, click learn more. Perfect, Perfect dude. Yeah, dude. Click learn more, and I'll email it to you right away. Bam. Perfect, man. And, and also, you know what, let's, let's, um, let's either change the title or change that just listed in the text because we don't need it twice. So hot property to just hit the market or, or, um, hot property to just hit the market or new property listed won't last long. Or something like that. Something short and catchy, but different from the just listed. Because as we see the post, we don't need it to show twice just listed. Hot property just hit the market. Perfect. Just we listed. Just, this fully renovated. Perfect, dude. Or remodeled. Perfect. If you, want, if you want access to the full 3D interactive tour, plus a ton of photos or a ton of images, whatever, click learn more. So well, the images are online now for free. I was also thinking of turning off that other ad. But oh yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn off the other one for sure. So now, Instagram. but remember which one it was or is. Well, it's these two. One is Instagram, one's Facebook. 
Okay, cool. So then, because what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom audience around the Facebook one. It was a good video. I got like 4,000 views or something. Awesome, bro. Awesome. Uh, let me see here. Perfect. Okay, so now. Oh, that's just my video view is still going. Yeah, I got 2,000 almost. Cool. So, oh, what happened to this? Or the video tour? Why is it off? Did you just turn it off right now? No. Video views, intro video. Maybe um, what, the budget. No, it's still oh, ends. God. Ends May 17th. Okay, it's on here. It's on there. And it's on here. Okay. It's on there. Put the campaign back on. All right. Okay, you're good there. So, okay. okay uh, so I, let's, like I need like a line right here, real quick. Just okay, like. Hot Property just hit the market. Just listed this fully remodeled new Concord condo just hit the market. And, and people are going crazy. Or, um, and buyers are lining up. Or, um, 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 uh, the HOA amenities. Um, 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 um. And this beautiful home won't last or something like that. Um, just to create some type of urgency. Um, Man, I'm trying to, yeah, like urgency, like it won't last. is kind of like salesy in a way. Yeah, it kind of is. Um, are there other units in that complex that are listed as well? No. That's why we listed. The one just went pending. Um, it's fully remodeled new Concord end unit just hit the market. And is the last and is the only one listed in the entire complex or something like that. Um, um, this ad copy got gets me sometimes. I know. Um, just hit the market. But it's not urgency. Enjoy this. Take a look at the take a look at the new 3D model that we just put together or take a look, take a look at the, take a look at the 3D, what is it, a 3D image or a 3D video? 3D tour, yeah. Take a look at the 3D tour sneak peek below or- Yeah, it's attached to that. Take a look at the 3D sneak peek, perfect. Put a space in between that though, or or unless you want it there on that first, like, like I, I would maybe oh, you want to crunch. Okay, that's fine. These two, yeah. That looks good. That looks good. And there's the list, and then there's this. Maybe and what you can that. also do to maybe maybe touch it up is you got the fire emojis, but maybe rather than those those dashes, maybe put a check mark. You can go that to that extent with the emoji. Put a check mark, like a green check mark. Check, 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 rather than hyphen, 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 hyphen. Okay. I mean, that would really make it pop, but at the same time, I mean, it's not that it's necessary, but it may look a little better than the damn hyphen. But it might be, it might be too much at the same time. I, I, well, it's going to stand out, whatever. And then I can just share it to my page from here once this is all done. Yeah, perfect. Awesome, dude. Just sent out flyers, just sent out the emails. I got four coming soon showings and people actually, uh, let's see. Bam. Perfect. Give me uh, one second. Crap. I just got someone uh, 
asking to show the condo. One second. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, they already sent their PED. Oh, amazing, amazing. They sent their what? So the, you need this thing right here, um, PED form to show any property. Most likely it'll be a FaceTime tour, but a client decided to come in person. So this is what's required. So usually people are like, can I show them? Like, yeah, I need a PED. Can you visit a property? And <laughs> they just did this one time, so they don't have to do it for each one. See, it has his name, blah, blah, blah. It says like, I don't have coronavirus, best of my knowledge. And if I get it from visiting this house, I won't sue you. That's pretty much Holy what Holy shit. It's every single property now. So, and what I'm gonna do. Is that nationwide or state? Is that a state? So this is, well, I only know California stuff. I go online mm -hmm. and like, mm -hmm. see what other people are saying, but. Interesting. Well, Tracy, where are you at? Are you on this email? See like my two emails, just bullshit right now. There you go, Tracy, and I email for a whole. Front door code, go anytime, yada, yada. You see that? Nice. I'm just like, oh, open the blinds. Parking spot is this, blah, blah, blah. So like they know what the hell to do. They show up, like, Where, which parking spot? Like, I just like to give them the info so the agent looks like a pro and people want to buy mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, hell yeah. Other agents do it, you know? Nice. Boom. So let me just get this done. Full mayor. So he signed it for himself. He is the agent at Redfin. <laughs> right on, man. Really cool. Boom. All right, get the phone in here. Perfect. So what's this one listed at? 375. That's 375. Cool. No games, you know. Not bad, man. Well, yeah, this another another very similar. It was just sold for three. 372 900 but we're slightly better in like a little bit of things and i think we can get it what's the square footage uh 914 hmm. yeah. not bad right. man not bad cool so if you want access to the full boom how can i like highlight it or bold it or whatever i mean you really can't you can cap it i mean Is that better maybe maybe sp i would space it yeah, there we go. Like this? Yeah. And and then capitalize that C on click. Click one more and I'll email it to you right away. That's perfect, bro. I, I think I think it's it's good to go. And then and then click on the thumbnail real quick. See if there's a different thumbnail that you may want to <laughs> that would actually make it stand out. <laughs> uh, this is cool. I mean, I, do I want to show the property, you know, or do I want to show that so people are like, what is this? Yeah, that, that's what I would think. Like, if I was scrolling through and I saw that shit, a black background with that random thing, I'd be like, what the hell is that? Right. So that could be kind of catchy. Damn, all right. I can't believe I'm about to post this. <laughs> Man, which one is it? I'll go with it. Which one's your favorite? This? Or? That middle one. Middle. Cool. And, and then titles, and then hit captions. No. Yeah, you don't need really any of that. I'd hit the um yeah, hit the you can just hit the blue button and then you're you're good. So, so that, and then, and then publish, you could publish now, go ahead and just, yeah, leave it, leave it as is and just hit the blue button publish. That's it. Nothing here. Change. Yeah. No, you don't really need to put anything there. Okay. Okay. okay, cool. So that's in motion. That's being published right now. Let's go to your ads manager and let's set up a custom audience real quick. So that'll take a few minutes there just get out of this yeah get out of that okay sorry yeah. oh oh shit okay there we cool. go nice nice Ooh. really cool it's just going automatically you know? yes all right oh yeah bro that's freaking killer right there cool all right okay uh, so let's click on the three or the dots at the top 
top left. Yeah, right there. And let's go to um, events manager. And then we're going to click on, um, actually, you know what? My bad. Click on the dots again. In the top left, go to, um, go to audiences, go down to um, scroll down audiences. There we go. Okay. So now that first video was how long? Uh, that one's the first seconds. one. What, oh, first, first one? Yeah, are they wow. both 13? Or yeah, that one. Yeah, how long? Okay, so that was a minute. So we can create a custom audience around everyone who watched freaking shit. Really, it's up to you, but I would probably create a custom audience around everyone who watched 50% of it. So 30 seconds of it. Or you can go less. You can go, let, let's look at our options. Well, so it's up to you. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's click on create audiences, the blue button. And then custom audience. And then let's just see our options. We have the, it, it, we'll see a drop down. And then video. And then, um, yeah, click right there. Engage, choose a video. Yeah. So we can go three seconds, 10 seconds, 25%, 50%. Let's go 10 seconds. It's enough to be, like, know what it's about. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Let's go 10 seconds. And then you want to title it that as well. So click on choose videos. And then um, find that video. It's... Which one? Both? Um, no, not both. The Instagram one as well? No, no, not the Instagram one. Let's just do, okay, yeah, uncheck that one. Let's just do the Facebook one. Okay. That Let's one right there. The, a lot of people still, well, that's three seconds, but still. Let's, yeah, well, if anything, we'll do it, we'll do it separately. Okay. Let's do this one, just, just the Facebook. Confirm? Yeah, confirm. And then what you're going to do is you're going to title it, give it an audience name. And then, um, and then make sure you put in there 10 seconds. So you can just type in, you know, yeah, watched 10 seconds of, and then, and then the title of that, or maybe the listing address. And, and then you could put maybe video number one. So watch 10 seconds of five, four, six, seven round tree video, video one. Perfect. Perfect. And then um, in the past 365, you can leave that because it's really just in the last you know week or so so that's fine so let's click create audience the blue one and then and then we're good perfect one moment all right blue okay got that and then boom so hit next and then from here we can go look like audience but we don't create an ad or you, yeah we can create ad and then we can expand but we don't need that just hit done and we'll just set it up from the beginning on the other on on the ads manager. So now we'll just click on the dots in the top left, and then let's go to the ads manager, and just set up the ad. And then and then uh, make sure you pull up the link because we'll put that link for the landing page in there as well. So mm -hmm. pull um, up the page. Um, ugh, it's always like always the other email now. <laughs> So you bounce back and forth between emails? Yeah. Well, cause yeah. like I've been working on, on this one here for the longest time. What the hell? What? Oh, wow. Now we're taking them what to the, the landing page. One Not second. I'm, I'm tripping out. Like, Understand. I don't understand where my thing is. What are you? You're looking for the actual video? Yeah. Well, I'm looking for the link of, for the full tour. That should be in the email that is triggered when they opt in to the landing page. So we need the link to the landing page. Hold on, I sent this to my client to see what the hell I'm doing. So there it is. There it is, yeah. That's a teaser video. This is this is it. Yep. All right. So this is gonna be on the landing page in Kartra. That's gonna be that's gonna be in 
the um in an email, I guess. That I send yeah, them. in the email, in the email. Okay. Which it's already in the email, right? Didn't we already set that up? Well, let's see. Yeah, so everything is 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 going back to that same landing page that we ran on the first ad. Right. Cool. So I have this going. Um, so where are we at? Ads manager. Yeah, let's go to ads manager, and then we'll just click on um, click on create. And then we'll just go, yeah, check the box and then we'll go conversions. Conversions. And let's um, 3D tour. So just make sure you can, in that title, the first one, especially it's the most important because that's what you see first. Just make sure you know which one's which, like know that this is a second ad for example, right? Cause this is the 3d tour, right? The other one was the, the my video. Okay. I only have this, these two for this property. Um, Perfect. What is this conquered or what should I put? Um, yeah. Or you could just paste the, what you put on the first one. I, I normally just copy and paste the title and just title the same thing right here. Come on, get out of my face. All right. <laughs> cool. Conversions here. Website, right? Yeah, so there's the, um, le let's leave that. <clears throat> and then actually click on the edit real quick. Let's just look at the seven days doing. Let's click on that. Let's go. Um, we can either go seven day or we can go one day click. Let's, let's go with. Um, what is this? It's just, watch, if you hover over, like right where it says conversions window, hover over the little question or the little the little circle to the left, hover over that, I'll tell you. So select the amount of time it typically takes for someone to complete the right action conversions. Okay. We use this data to generate this time frame to optimize delivery. No, I want, I mean, I want it right away. Seven days from now, this shit's going to be like. Yeah, let's go one day click. Click or view. No, we could just go just go one day click, one day click. Yeah, that's fine. And then um, scroll up real quick. Let me just look at a few things real quick. Scroll up to the top. Okay, cool, we're good. Okay, and then um, conversions, scroll down, scroll down, and then right there in custom audiences, click that in the box, and then you'll see your um, custom audience. Perfect. Watch the second video one, yeah? Perfect, that one. Okay, cool. So we're good there. And then um, in the locations, that's where you can put what did we put the first time around did we put the address did we base everything around the physical address or did yeah, we like 15 miles around that okay and then also make sure you change the drop down to people living in this location yeah perfect i get like 10 or less but that's because it's conversion right that's because it's conversion and, th and that's also it's 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 basing oh, everything on, on the yeah. budget so far so okay. what Let's um, actually, and then con connections, let's exclude, let's exclude your pages. Yeah, because they already see it on there. So targeting, they're like, oh yeah, well, nice video again. You know, <laughs> like they, they see it. Yeah, we don't, we don't need them seeing it. And then you can leave it on automatic. You could change the daily to lifetime. So I'm thinking here I should spend more like, so like, oh shit, let's see what that gives me. This hasn't changed. Yeah, that, 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 sometimes that updates, sometimes it doesn't. I wouldn't even look at the negative, the, the less than 10. I wouldn't even focus on, I wouldn't even look at that shit, bro. Like it don't even matter because sometimes that doesn't even, that's not even accurate. A lot of times that's not even accurate. Well, lifetime and I'm going to run it for what, at least two. Mm. Run it for a week. I mean, run it for a week. I, I, again, I would, I would just stick with your monthly budget, man. 
Like unless in I, well, so this is outside my monthly budget. This is my budget for, that I'm getting actually paid commission for from the okay. seller to advertise. So like, if I get you know like okay, th I mean, th does this get get me leads or does this get me like people to want to go see the house? We're we're running. We're optimizing for freaking leads conversions. Okay, so this so, is for me, not for really the property. What ad can I do for the property to like help it sell or whatever in case? What do you mean? Or does this help it sell while giving me leads pretty much? Same shot. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. We're promoting this, this property. We're getting freaking leads of people are, who are interested in buying it or right. interested in buying anything. Shit. That's, right. that's that, yeah, that's, 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 that's conversions. Video views would be just showing off the property, you know, brand awareness, just getting it viewed, but no conversions is freaking opt-ins like leads. So, I mean, should, I mean, should I put more on this ad than usual? No, no, not, 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 no, not at all. I would, I would, today's the fifth. Okay. So I would, I would push out that time, the start time, go from 2 PM to maybe start it at five, give it some time for Facebook to approve and review the ad. So oh, I would go 5 PM okay. and I would just run it for, run it for lifetime budget 200 and I would run it for 10 days. And, and you can always, if, if leads are coming in, then you can, you can obviously extend the end date and, and let it, let it run longer. Okay. So based on this conversion. Change that. Let, let's look at those. And let's just see if that updates real quick. Go back to the one click and go to seven day click. Yeah. Leave that. Oh yeah. Leave, okay. leave that. Go to, um, Right there, the one day click, change it to seven day and see if that changes those numbers to the right. Okay, so the reach 71 to 205. Actually, okay. you know what? Let me let me let me look at something really really quick. Don't leave that part. Don't leave that part yet. Let me look at something really really quick. Because I know I have. Where is that damn note I took? Potential reach estimates may not be available depending on your audience configuration. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's your not current true. Your current criteria is currently set to allow detailed targeting expansion, which is an error at the bottom. Please remove your targeting expansion selection. Targeting expansion is not available. No, that's 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 fine but it's just the one day and the seven day that i'm just um i'm trying to get the different i'm trying to let me give me one second okay is the reach so low because we have like just this custom audience does it know to like advertise to others as well because it has a 15 miles right around the address yeah, yeah, it's it's obviously the targeting. It's just a niche little area, so that's why those numbers aren't big. But at the same time, I know I don't even focus on those numbers to the right, bro. Like I, I don't at all. What I'm tripping on is the one day click versus seven day click. Give me one second. Damn it! I know I had a note on that. Um, Go. Um. Look at my new listing presentation. Just got rebranded. Oh, nice, dude. Bad. That's freaking sick. Yeah, I just put compass here and everything. Um, 
only click Go with go with one day click, bro. Just go with one go with one day click. Go with one day click. Don't even worry about those numbers to the right. Go with one day click. And again, that's why in the next few days we'll just we'll just micromanage it. We'll look at it and, and just you know base everything around that. And then and then what we can also do is look at look at the first ad, the one that you turned off. We can go into the ad set and see what we chose for that. Because whatever we chose for that worked, which was either I'm pretty sure it was one day click. So let's just final, finalize this real quick and then we can go back and we can always change it, but let's just, um, we can oh, double check day. the first one. Yeah. Leave it at one day. You got seven days click, go to one day click or view or just... no one day click. Yeah. One day click. Okay. Oh. So let's scroll down. Don't even look at the, it doesn't even matter those numbers to the right. So we'll scroll down, scroll down. Got that automatic. Perfect. The budget is set. This thing is the error. You can, um, it's not going to, it's not going to do anything, but you can, um, yeah, don't even worry about that. That's not even, not, it's not like matter. Target people who want real estate or in some way? Or? No, not at all. It, we're targeting a local area and we're retargeting those who watch the first video. So when you put in real detailed targeting on keywords, that's for, that's for nationwide marketing. We're targeting a freaking little backyard, 15 miles, even though 15 miles is pretty far. It's, it, it doesn't matter. We're, we need it wide open, especially for real estate. Leave it wide open. We're already cut by not being able to choose the gender or the freaking age. So none of that matters. So just make sure that you- 10 days, so that's 20 bucks a day. Is that fair? Oh yeah, that's super fair. Okay. So leave it at that. We'll look at it in the next few days and, and go from there. So continue or what is this? Yeah, hit continue. Uh, and... We're good with there. We're good. And then- um, yeah, you could title that first one, add name, and then we'll go with um, use existing post and then put in the link for the landing page and that's it. And the landing page isn't ready yet. Right? No, you could still use the same landing page, bro. Same one as the first one. It's the same thing. Okay, maybe just uh, uh, change the button to get 3D tour instead of photos. Um. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. As far as the line, yeah, yeah. If anything, that could be edited. What the hell is this? Okay, <laughs> this one. I mean, yeah. View all three. Yeah. So view all three D, all thirty photos now, or you can yeah, click here to 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 view your three D tour. Perfect. I'll change that. Um... Bam. Continue, and then um. Yeah, just add the button, and oh. and also click. We have yeah, we yeah, we'll we'll go oh, to learn more. more. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. All right. What you um, can do is you can see what it looks like. So go ahead and put the put the link for the um. Yeah, you can you can click on that um. Up 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 no to the right yeah up right there right there that little square, down, right there. You can click on that and see what it looks like in the newsfeed. Well, actually, it's going to send you notification, but. It'll give you a view of it, but you can also just scroll down towards the middle and you can see. Well, what it'll literally like. be this. With just yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, um, zoom. come on, zoom. Come on, zoom. There you go. All right. Uh, button. Yeah. So add. Learn more. And then the URL is going to be this. Yeah. Click the three dots and then get, yeah, perfect. So you'll be proud of me. I actually went in yesterday. I thought what we're going to do today requires a new sequence. <laughs> so I started one. <laughs> Good, dude. Good practice. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Good practice. I'm man. like, look, I got to the start and I was like, okay, send email. The automation was so much and it was like 8 p.m. already. It's like after like, You're like screw hours it. of working. So I'm like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Okay. So right here, update post. We're good. Awesome, man. Awesome. And then also, also, also. Of, of whether here I should just put the address instead of hot property. No, because that's what they're opting in for. They want to know more details. So I would put the address in the email. Okay. Here's what we also need to do also. Here's, here's, well, actually, you know what? It's not, it's not really, yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it, it, it kind of is. I don't want to use the word necessary, but it, but it's, it's not going to, it's not going to hurt either. What we want to do is we want to create a custom audience 
around everyone who lands who landed on the landing page. So before we finalize this ad, let's go let let's do that real quick because everyone who landed on the landing page those people need to see this this ad again because in this case we created a custom audience around people who watch 10 seconds. Oh, right here. So 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 leave this here, leave this leave this don't even touch it. Open up a new tab and go back to the ads manager. What, a new tab? Yeah, open up a new tab. Go to the ads manager. And let's create an audience if we haven't already. Scroll down. Audience. So so now we're going to have a custom audience and retarget all those who watched the video. And then we're also going to create an audience of everyone who landed on the thank you page. These are all people who opted in. But if they haven't freaking purchased, right? Like shit, they need to see another ad. So so no, it's not video. It's website. So create a custom audience website. And now what we want to do is all website visitors, click that and then click the drop down for all website visitors and then click on people who visit specific pages. Okay. So now pull up the, go to Kartra and it's that video one. So the thank you page, get link. Okay, perfect. So everyone who lands on this page and we're going to, we're going to, um, did we not create a custom audience around these people already? We didn't, huh? We, we created a custom conversion. The custom conversion is always set up around the thank you page, but also a custom audience. So paste that link in. People who visit your find, paste that link right there. And now let's, so now this is a, a custom audience. So let's, let's label it, you know, freaking five, four, six, seven leads. Like it could be, it could be that, that straightforward. Create audience. And so now, now hit done. Now we have a custom audience of all those people. So go back to the other tab, the ads manager. Let's go into audiences. Now, now here's, here's, um, go to, um, yes. yeah, you should see it. Go to custom audience. So yeah, click, click and in, click inside the box and then scroll to the right custom audience. Just see if it's there. Yeah. It should populate now. Let's see. Is right that here? the, is that bam right there? Perfect. So that's the, uh, well, type, it says type website. We'll see. Is, so, so we did create one. Okay. Okay. So that was well, shit. Just choose one of them then. Perfect. So those people that opted in, boom, they're going to see this, this next one. They're going to see another one. Okay. Now, now they already opted in, they already opted in and, and normally you wouldn't retarget them normally you wouldn't create a custom audience and, and retarget them target them but why not like why not like they right. opted in well, they haven't hit you up yet <laughs> what's that okay, yeah. this is just like like those 14 people who just like landed there right and signed up yeah yeah so it's not a big big audience and and until we have this bad boy under contract i don't care what part of, of the funnel you're in you're going to continue to see my ads because you've shown an interest especially if you opted in Right. So, so now I'm going to hit you again with another ad and, 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 and either get you to opt in again or get you to really, you know, take me seriously. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got this here. Got... So that's good. See how we added that and, and the, the numbers really didn't even change to the right. So that's why I don't even pay attention to those numbers right there. As long as my targeting, as long as my custom audience is in place and that is correct, I don't even care about those numbers to the right. Got it. So perfect. We're good. We're good. So call to action button, the learn more buttons there. We hit confirm and, and then you can refresh this page and then you'll see the learn more button. Refresh here. Not yet. You got to confirm the ad first. So let's confirm it at the bottom. All right. Hold on. So learn more. That's going to that page. Yeah. Everything's good. Okay. Everything's good. Scroll down. Just hit confirm. The market. All right. Conf Pixel. Confirm. Green button. <laughs> We're good. So now if you, um, yeah, let this publish real quick. Once it hits three of three, then go back to the Facebook page and then just refresh it. 
and then you'll see the learn more button. Um. Where, where is, is where is that where is that ad? Um, you got it. Conversions. So so click on that one. Click on yeah. Click on that the box and then click on the second tab. Third tab. There Perfect. it is. Perfect. There okay. So now go to your Facebook page, and then just refresh that, and then yeah, reload, and then you'll see the learn more right below the video. Bam. Learn more. Click on learn more. Boom. Nice. Bam. So, so I'll just why don't move. you go into the cartridge page and, and edit that blue button? Should I just copy and paste this uh, from my phone? Just do the same thing. Uh, put an Instagram real quick. I'll put like a low budget there. Yeah, for sure. All right. Hold on. Let me. Actually, no, not that one. The um, go to the button. Or, or did you want to edit that part? Okay, so get instant access to. Yeah, perfect. The three D tour three. To the to the full, three D tour. Awesome. Capitalize the T in in the. It's like very like Mailchimpy if you used that before. The, the editing? Yeah, it's like like the boxes and you have to click on each little one. Kind of like when you, you know, like there's a little drop downs and you drag over little things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever used MailChimp? No. No clone. Pretty much allows you to send like unlimited emails per day for free. Up uh, to 2,000 and then after that you got to pay. Yeah, well, okay. Unlimited. Yeah, I mean for, you know, <laughs> one campaign, that's pretty good per day. Oh yeah, for sure. Only right. reason why I never really used it is because everything is in Kartra, so I just use all one, everything in one. You know what I mean? For sure. So, view the full 3D tour now, or click here to view the full 3D tour. Bam. Boom. Awesome, dude. Now click ho hover over click on the is this bright enough by the way go to the link click on the link um we can brighten it up but click on link at the top let's just make sure that that form okay thank you for interest okay perfect so hit hit done to the right hit done yeah always make sure you hit done and then and then save it real quick just go to the green button and just save it just for the heck of it just save, pro publish, save progress please. save progress Should I publish? publish live is when you're leaving I mean, I'm leaving, right? Yeah, so go into Publish Life. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <What else? laughs> I didn't know if you were going to continue to edit something and change that color. Um, so it's the same page code, or should I put it in the ad again, or what? Put in what? It's the same page code. I don't need to get this again. Yeah, right? no, no, you're good. You're good. Cool. So it'll take them to the same funnel with just this. Mm -hmm. And if, uh, what is it? The second email is pretty much, well, the email they get has the tour and the photos so whatever they can click on photos again i don't have to really do anything yeah you're right. good you're good man so let's let's let this bad boy run for for a few days and then and then hit me up in a in a few days hit me up in in three to four days and let's let's take a look at it got it so um should i do the same thing right now for instagram you can you can you can um you can I mean yeah. But that video is not, it's not formative for, it's not formative for Instagram. Is it so, not? Let me, let me check on my phone real quick. Let me download it and see what the hell happens. Uh, so if anything, we got to check what software we can use to edit and make it fit Instagram. A video. All right, let me go to Instagram. 
by the way, uh, some marketing company reached out to me about like Google. So like they they like do Google mm-hmm. like my, my my business page and they like make it like semi organic stuff. They like yeah, show yeah. you how and they like certain budget gets you a certain amount of leads as web traffic and stuff. What would you say is that good to invest in or it, it is. I mean, if if one has the budget, yeah, I would I would for sure because everything we're doing obviously here is Facebook advertising to this to, is showing, uh, to cover Google is not a bad thing either. You know, so when people are Googling So these guys here, right? So like they appear, all these realtors and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, like here's my office essentially. I don't know why it still says all to know. But when you click like other words right here, this is the keywords, right? When you use like San mm-hmm. Francisco real estate agent or whatever, it shows like different names because they purchase those words. Yeah, so they, yeah. Like, they rank based on like reviews and content and shit like that. Th- that that's cool. Just the way I look at it is the fact that it's not cheap. Number right. one. But if you have the budget, that's what I'm saying. If you have the budget, why not? Why not cover our bases on Google as well? But the way I also look at it, number two is the fact that there's no, there's no, it's just, it's a Google search and I'm seeing all these links from different agents and I don't know any of them and I just click on any of them and I'll maybe reach out to one of them. But if someone was branding their face and their video in my newsfeed all damn day and that's all I've been seeing was Eli for the past three months in my freaking Facebook newsfeed, I mm-hmm. see him on video. That's a completely different form of branding. Right. Like I'd rather put my money into, into that type of branding than over here, just be another link. And that's all it is. Right. So, so it's just, it's just up to you. I mean, if, if a per again, if you have the budget freaking, why not? Jeez. But it's just not, it's not personable. And that's what I think branding should be is if I clicked, if I Googled and I saw your freaking face and that was an image or a video of, of you, okay, shit, now we're talking, but that's not really how Google works. But it could still be, it's still powerful. It's just, it's not cheap either though. Um, when you look those ready, woo. <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you this too. Um, I had a guy that runs like Facebook ads for me from a different page, right? Mm-hmm. And that's like the leads that I, I am getting uh, to work on. Uh, things are heating up right now and... Mm-hmm. Can we run those ads ourselves? Or Hell yeah, dude. Can you Hell like yeah. help me set up an ad that's actually going to get like people to like confirm and I have it like, a, um, this is my CRM and it has like all the integrations to, to take it here. You know what I mean? So I just like want him to show up. Like here's, here's the leads from yesterday. My uh, assistant imported them, you know? So like all, all anybody would be doing is running conversion ads. That's it. So we, we know how to already do that. And then it just comes down to different images that this person's using or different videos that this person's using. So he's supposedly using like an image and like certain ad copies in certain areas that like produce good results. And like, I'm paying him like a thousand bucks a fucking month for like a hundred leads. Okay. So I mean, shit. And out of that, like a thousand, it's like 500 his 500, like Facebook spent, like it's so expensive, you know, I'm trying to like negotiate on that, but yeah, dude, I mean, all he's doing is, is what we just set up. That's all he's doing, but he's just spending more money on it. So we're over here spending 20 bucks a day. He's probably over there spending a hundred bucks a day. That's it. That's the only difference. Well, no. well he's spending my money. At, at, for yeah. That. Yeah. So can we like set something up to like start getting like little ads and stuff coming in? I mean, leads coming in, bro. Yeah. 15 leads just came in from this. What the hell we just did right here. Well, I know, but these are like, Oh, maybe you want to see the home or whatever. Like I want people who are like, Hey, are you looking to purchase in this area? Like, you know what I mean? people to call like I want like a hundred people this month for my assistant to call like is what I'm saying yeah so all all it's going to come down to is just is just continue to put out content continue to run image that guy whatever he's either running an image or a video that's it and he's just spending more per day on a conversions ad that's right. it right so and when they like, click should we try that hell yeah like, okay that's what we're doing that we're doing that on a listing now okay. anything else would be any other type of ad so Can that's get- what can we do a buyer ad together? Do you have some time? You want to do a buyer ad right now? Yeah, to like start getting leads in, like you know, if, one of four buyers. Because I like, I pretty much am gonna call him today to like start running ads if we can't do it, which is which is fine. I just like no, we could totally buyer. do it. Like that's that. Like this second, I have another call right now, but at the same okay. time, we could we could totally do it. Like you're paying someone five hundred bucks and then five hundred as a Her budget. Month. Yeah, so it's like, dude, like. Bro, that's how you, you already know how to run the damn, the damn ad. Now it just comes down to running more. 
So should I just put it like in San, drop a pin in San Francisco plus 15 miles and image and say like, yeah, dude, whatever like area the, you want to target. What's the value proposition like off market stuff or. Well, see that that's where we got to get creative. We got to spend some time on, on ad copy and, and either we're going to run images of, of general shit or we're going to, or we're going to do video. I see. So that, that's all it comes down to is, is, is spending more per day to get that many leads. Like that's all, that's all you already know how to run the ad. Got it. Now it just Got comes out of different variations of the ad, different ad copy, different images, different videos. That's it. But if, but now that you already know how to do it, you don't need no one doing it for you. And le unless you have the budget and you don't have the time. Right. But right and now you have, have the budget and that. you have the time. And I want to see if like I'm able to do it myself. Like if actually decent leads coming in, because a lot of people have ran lead, uh, like ads for me and the leads kind of sucked. And this guy's leads are actually pretty good. Like I can at least talk to like half of them. Yeah. So, so if, so if anything, what he's doing is he's writing good ad copy mm -hmm. and he's, when they click learn more, he's, he's asking for their phone number. Got it. So, okay. so that, that's it. Like, that's the only difference. Like he, he that's, that's it. Where do you know to run the damn ad? It's conversions. That's it. Okay. okay cool. So, so, um, 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 what else was I going to say? It just, yeah, what, what, else? I should I try it? Should I try it on my own here as we get off the phone? Yeah. Heck yeah. But, but here's, here's, here's the other thing, dude, here's what you always have to keep in mind. And this is what most people fail to understand. It's the fact that there's really, there's really no such thing as a bad lead in my opinion. There's there, there, but there is a such thing on, on the salesman's side. You're the salesman. There is a such thing as not following up. So if I came to your landing page and I opted in, there's an interest there, whether it's buying or selling, whatever ad I saw, there was an interest there for me to go there and actually put my name and email. There was an interest there. It's right. your fault for not following up on me. And oh, so sure. okay. we called them all. Uh, I'm just saying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You call. can only call someone so many times. That's, that's another thing. You can only call them so many times before you're bugging them. So what I'm saying is the fact that the, 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 the nurturing of the list the, the relationship building of that list needs to come from your email automation. If you don't have email set up going out to that lead, you, you already lost them. If you don't have more ads that are retargeting them in their newsfeed tomorrow, you already lost them. Mm. So, so that's why it, it, that's, that's why, and it's a cold ad. It's a cold lead. That person doesn't know you just yet. That's why you have to continually run ads and retarget and you have to nurture that email list. This list right here, these, this ad that's going out for this listing, there needs to be a handful of emails that are preset ready to go out. You have one. I have three. Three. Okay, three. That's good. Let, let's, 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 have like, you, you, let's have like five. You know, five, five that are automatically ready to go out. That's, that's the email sequence. And, and in those, just like you have set up, in those emails is a link to your calendar. So it's all about the, the Facebook ad. It's not always designed to sell your shit today. What it's designed for is to capture a lead of someone who's interested that actually lives next door to you. No, for it's sure. A, for sure. And it's no, up I, to me I, to nurture that. that list and build that relationship. I, I absolutely get it. Like that's you what know? we're working on. I'm just saying like, if I want some like fresh lead, like, Hey, like looking to buy a home, like in certain, like San Francisco, for example, like, mm -hmm, I want to work mm -hmm. San Francisco buyers. Like, can I just put like, like some value add thing for like buyers, like, you know, not like offer, offer like a free guy, but actually like, Hey, sign up here so we can like help you out or like send you off market properties. And that's how we reach out to them. Hey, you want an off market property in San Francisco, which area? Okay, great. Is it two bedroom three, you know, and we start our conversation. So like, and that's like more ready business now. Like he just, like, I, I just end up having like a lot of like leads in here so I can just work on them. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the branding and all that, it'll take some time to build the audience. like, I need some leads at the moment. Well, oh. dude, that's, that's what you're running. So you're running ads right now to capture leads. 15 just came in. So, so who, right. who, 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 with this next ad, who's to say that 30 more won't come in? Those are your leads. It just comes down to your strategy. In this case, you're running for a listing. Let's, let's, let's right. do the same thing for buyers and look for buyers so we can get some leads going in there. And rather than just having them click learn more and going to a landing page where we're asking for only name and email, maybe try maybe try um, asking for name, email, and phone number. Got it. So all it, all it comes down to is testing different variations of ads, man. That's all it is. So if I'm paying someone a thousand bucks when I already know how to do it myself, it's freaking game time. No need should to pay just, someone. Should I just play around with ad, different ad copies? Maybe. Hell yeah, bro. That's all it comes down really to. Really cheap ads or, you know. 
what, whatever you're looking for, you write it in the text. Whatever the hell you're looking for, you say it in the video. That's it, dude. It's just testing different variations. That's all this is about. It's not about one ad and shit, no leads are coming in. It's all about different variations, targeting that same area and getting your face shown every freaking day. Got it. Got it. Cool, man. I I don't want to take up your time if someone's like waiting on the other line. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. But, but what that person has, if anything is just, is just major variations going. Like if you have, if you, if you say, Hey bro, can I take a look at your ads manager? Can I see how you're running my ads? I guarantee you he has multiple variations of ads. He's creating multiple ad sets and he's creating multiple images. So he has so many different ads going at a given time and he's spending probably four times, five times more than what we have spent right now per day. That's it. That's why leads are coming in. That's it. That's the only, that's the only thing you could be doing. Like, and, 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 and maybe you're offering something in your ad. Like that's why, that's why in my opinion, a buyer guide or a seller guide, giving them something is, is, is powerful because, because you bro, like you, like with your personality, there's no way in hell, like you and I are the same. There's no way in hell that I'm going to see an ad for the very first time and drop my pants. Like, oh, what? Like he wrote something so special. All of a sudden, I'm going to give him my name and phone number and I'm interested in buying something right now. Like you wouldn't do that. You, you don't opt in a shit all damn day on something random. Right. Like you don't. Like you, you don't. So, so if anything, he has multiple ads, multiple variations, spending way more than, than what you are right now, $20 per day. That's the only difference. Okay. And so all that comes down to from on your end, it's creating, creating, creating more. That's why I'm so, I'm so, so, um, um, I, I can't stress enough how much content is, is important. Like it's the content. It's not one video, bro. We need 10 videos right now. Like it's, it's the content that's what produces the more, more leads. It's not necessarily the budget all the time. It's the different variations of content. I'm testing seven different images while you're testing one. I'm okay. testing seven different ad sets while you're testing one. You're so spending 20 bucks a day. I'm spending a hundred bucks a day. But maybe I'll go online, like find some like ad copies that have worked for other people, just kind of copy and paste, like, and she was like the, you know, good images and throw maybe three to five cheap ads out there, see what the hell happens. And yeah, bro. That's all. Uh, that's all it comes down to. Is, is how do I is, make it go into here? So I have like the API. I know that's like you need, like either the lead email address, right? Like, how do I make it show up in here? Is just my question. This is what is this? This is your follow up, boss. This is my CRM. So I want the leads to show up here. So like, this is the email. It's the API key. So people ask me for either one of those. You know what I mean? Um. Yeah. 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 So if if anything. Can you upload? Can you upload a list here? You can upload, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So if anything, as the lead comes into Kartra, you can download it off a of Kartra and upload it into this. You don't even oh. need an API key for that. I just like when it goes automatically. I don't have to do it. My assistant just sees it. It's tagged to her, so she knows to call right away. That's all. Like. Oh shit. Sorry if I'm taking more of your time. But... No, it's all good, bro. It's all good. I. Like right here. So just me. Cool. So here's my leads, right? Boom. Like, look at this. It's just lists of like 68 people mm-hmm, that came mm-hmm. in for like a month of, you know, um, yeah. So it's like a lot of, you know what I mean? Like she's calling them right now, texting them. Yeah. Yeah. For like sure. Ago, but yeah, two days ago, she's calling the ones she knows. I'll figure out if there's an integration, like if, if Zapier, for example, can integrate it. But, but if not, to really keep it super simple, you can just download your leads every day from Kartra and upload them here. Got it. He, he somehow like made it here. So there's like a lead flow. And where is it? Like website, off a website, it comes in here, you know, and like it assigns it. I can do like action plan. I can have like an email sequence in here. Like agent lead boss right here. He has an advanced setting. Like, so like if something maybe goes into Kartra, then I can get it to show up here automatically yeah 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 all um which here, here's what here's what you here's what you can easily do email kartra support at kartra.com okay what i would do is i would do a simple video 30 second video and say hey kartra this is eli here's what i got going on i have this crm i'm driving them to this kartra page how can i integrate it mm-hmm. do a simple video screen share just like this and email support at kartra and they'll freaking walk you through how to do it nice 
my ad is scheduled to run. Damn, I kind of wish we did it earlier than five. <laughs> no, it's all good, man. You, it's all, you can go in there and change the time. I mean, you can go in there. You can edit the time for sure now that it's already approved. Okay. You can go in there, edit the time, just change the start time and change the end time, make it match. So maybe go noon, you know, change it to noon and, 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 and change the end date to noon. On the... So the end date and the start date just have to be the same. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 not just the date, but the actual time you want it to match. Where's the budget? It's in the ad set. So, um, Aren't they there? I don't or... see your screen. Oh, got it. Okay. I'm right here. Um, Okay, so get out of that one. Click on, um, yeah, there we go. So budget, scroll down right there. So if you change that to noon, yeah, I would go, yeah. Start, end date, noon, perfect. And then just publish. Sounds good, yeah. So I'll be messing around here with it and uh, we'll talk by like end of the week or something. Yeah, bro, sounds good, man. Hit and just ignore that other calendar uh, for tomorrow. I think gotcha. Work. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right on, bro. Let's let this run, man, and freaking catch us some leads. Amazing, man. Thank you so much. All right, brother. Okay, man. Talk to you soon. Right. Bye.